Yellowstone overdue for eruption. Supervolcano fears are addressed in a critical U.S. Geological Survey update. This is on Express UK, today's article by Sebastian Ketley. Well, we know that, for example, Steamboat Geyser has had over 40 eruptions since last year. Ten of them are up to now, this year. We just had one yesterday. Now, Yellowstone supervolcano's supposed overdue status was addressed by the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, in this crucial update concerning Yellowstone activity and its future. The super eruption of Yellowstone volcano, which is a super volcano, threatens to alter global weather patterns and blanket the United States in ash. Thankfully, the odds of Yellowstone erupting in the foreseeable future are next to non-existent. Yellowstone supervolcano is estimated to have last erupted 631,000 years ago. That was a major, of course, super eruption. Uh, a lesser eruption happened 70,000 years ago. But the articles that they came out with lately, the details say that it erupts, just, it erupts uh, with a smaller eruption just about every 6,000 years. And they estimate that the next eruption would be a lava flow, like perhaps what we saw in Kilauea last year. So a super blast, which shaped the volcano's present-day caldera, is what took place with the super blast 631,000 years ago. The likelihood of this happening again within our lifetime is exceedingly low, according to USGS. Now, they're always talking about the super blast, so what about the smaller blasts? Anyway, that's another issue. The scores of people are still convinced that Yellowstone volcano is bubbling away and preparing to erupt. Twitter user John Fairchilds tweeted, do any environmentalists actually take into account all of the effects on global temperatures of volcanoes, both above ground and under sea? Doubt it or they'd be worried a lot more about the long overdue for eruption of supervolcano at Yellowstone than so-called man-made global warming. When it goes off, it takes the entire West Coast with it, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. Have a great day, he says. So there is, however, no cause for concern, according to USGS, and all fears of Yellowstone erupting soon are unfounded. In a weekly Yellowstone update for the uh, Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles, USGS geologist Michael Poland addressed the eruption fears directly. Poland is the USGS geologist who doesn't want NASA touching Yellowstone. You remember that NASA had come out last year with a plan to cool Yellowstone down by drilling holes and putting some kind of coolant in those holes to drill down the, the magma chamber. Well, Poland says it's a terrible idea and he's not for it whatsoever. So anyway, he's the scientist that says, we've heard many statements that Yellowstone is overdue, that it has a major eruption every 600,000 years on average. And since the last eruption was 631,000 years ago, well, you can see where this is going, he says. Yellowstone's three major eruptions occurred about 630,000 years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 2.1 million years ago. This supposed periodicity has led some to believe Yellowstone erupts on a tight schedule and the fourth blast is coming. But Dr. Poland argued volcanoes do not behave in this manner, and as a result, there are no indicators Yellowstone is bound to erupt again. Now, Aaron Monkey says, tweets, uh, when things look really dark and hopeless, I remind myself that the supervolcano beneath Yellowstone is overdue to erupt and destroy us all, he says. Now, the scientist Poland explained, this comes out on an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions, that being the case, he's talking about the super eruptions, okay, but there are the minor eruptions as well that have done damage. Now, he, they're all talking about the super eruptions. There are a few that have, as you saw, you'll see in the videos before these, that there are, uh, every, it, it takes about every 6,000 years that there are the minor eruptions, which also, of course, are not good. Now, uh, Poland goes on to say, that being the case, we still have about 100,000 years to go. He's talking about the super eruption. But this number is based on very little data, and so it's basically meaningless. Would you base any conclusion on the average of just two numbers? 
The point, however, is that if someone or some article or documentary says that Yellowstone erupts every 600,000 years, you know right off the bat that they are full of baloney. That's what Poland says. Now, in order for Yellowstone volcano to erupt again, it will need to accumulate vast amounts of magma in its subterranean chambers, but there is no evidence of this happening right now. Volcanoes do not collect molten rock at a constant and regular rate, as some might expect. And Dr. Poland said that, quote, this does not happen on a schedule, end quote. Instead, volcanoes erupt where their supply of magma and lava build in pressure to the point where the molten rock is forced to the surface. Dr. Poland said, no matter how you slice it, Yellowstone is not overdue. No, no way, not even close. But we can't say the same about the oil change for your car, so you might want to check on that, he says. Now, the question of Yellowstone's supposedly overdue status was also addressed by USGS geologist Jake Lowenstern. Dr. Lowenstern dismissed all Yellowstone fears, saying the supervolcano is far from erupting anytime soon. He said, quote, when you see people claiming it's overdue, Usually the numbers they come up with say that the last eruption was 640,000 years ago, but that it erupts every 600,000 years and therefore it's 40,000 years overdue. But in fact, if you average the eruption intervals between 2.1 million years, 1.3 million years, and the 640,000 years, uh, when you average those numbers, you come up with something which is over 730,000 years. So in reality, even if you tried to make this argument, it would not be due for another 70,000 years or so, he says. Now, what will Yellowstone Volcano's next eruption look like? The most likely type of blast to go off in Yellowstone in the near future is a scorching hydrothermal eruption. According to USGS, such a blast will hurl, hurl the hot steam jets of water and rock from the ground. USGS said, quote, Though the worst case scenario for a giant Yellowstone eruption is indeed bad and could have global implications, most past eruptions at Yellowstone were not highly explosive. Of the past 50 or so eruptions, almost all were simple lava flows. Okay, this is exactly what Lowenstern is saying. There were many, many smaller eruptions, lava flows, for example, what you had in Kilauea last year, 50 or so past eruptions. And he goes on to say, if they occurred tomorrow or next year, they would have minimal direct effect outside Yellowstone National Park. This is the most likely volcanic uh, scenario at Yellowstone. Now, that's uh, what USGS says. There are others, such as Dr. Michio Kaku, the physicist at uh, City College in New York, who claims that there's a sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone that could erupt any moment and take out at least half of the continental United States. So if, uh, for example, what, 48 states, it would be 28 or something. So um, I'll leave a link below. I'm also going to give a, a little bit of a footage on what Old Faithful is doing right now. Thank you. There you go, it's Old Faithful. And you have other uh, parts of the geysers behind there as well. It's here. It's here, even on this side here. Sometimes the camera goes after Old Faithful finishes the big spitting out. You have a uh, camera panning over to the left. And here you have some other ones here in the background as well. This one's gone. This one's up too. And you have various uh, geysers and vents and fumaroles and mud pots um, and there are over 10,000 such geothermal events taking place throughout the park. Um, one of the Caldera Chronicles lately said that um, they're still locating and mapping them because they have not found them all. It's amazing. These are the world's, uh, most of the world's geysers are found here in Yellowstone. And they estimate that half the geysers in the world are here in Yellowstone. It's 
it's quite cloudy, but at least it's not snowing. It's not that foggy that we can't see anything. Um, the sun will be setting soon, so we're lucky we still have sunlight to see what's going on. Okay, now it's a little bit quiet down. Let's quiet it down. I'll leave a link below so you can enjoy this as well. As we said, this is uh, Old Faithful here. The steamboat geyser is in the Norris Geyser Basin. And I'll make another video about the geyser basins in Yellowstone because many of us are interested where they are and which geysers are in the various basins. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.